Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. The use of medical marijuana has long been a controversy. Of course, there are benefits, maybe some health risks, who knows? But here to help me sort it all out is my man, alternative medicine guru, the medicine hunter, Chris Killam. Glad to be here with you, Manny, as Mary always. Mary Jane, wacky weed, marijuana, big controversy. Big controversy. Uh, big, huge, you know, even since my days in college, not that I ever tried it. Uh, or didn't inhale. Did inhale. Right. Uh, but anyway, and now, of course, it's, you know, every state is trying to, uh, trying to pass legislation to legalize it. There's a lot of people on the Internet saying that it's good for your health. Is it good for you? You know, I think the truth of the matter is that there are benefits and there are risks. Obviously, there are some uh, pulmonary risks. We know that smoking marijuana can increase uh, the likelihood of bronchial problems, although, oddly enough, there is no known increased risk of, of lung and esophageal cancers, which is kind of interesting. Right, because it doesn't have nicotine like cigarettes. Well, right? also because, oddly enough, some of the compounds in cannabis actually uh, act as protective agents against the development of lung cancer cells specifically. It's sort of odd that way, and this is kind of recent science. But I think what we do know about the medical benefits is that um, people with different disorders that inhibit their ability to eat and put on weight. So you're talking about HIV people, people with wasting disorders, uh, people who are recovering from chemotherapy who just can't eat. If they will consume some cannabis, and that could be inhaled, it could be oral, you know, in a brownie or something. They, ha they, ha they, have, they have cannabis. Yes. On on sort of a pharmaceutically uh, manufactured format. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get to, to that. that. Yeah. But, but uh, the truth is it can help those people who are underweight and have compromised immune systems to eat more, to put on weight, and to help build up the immune system. We know that in cases of glaucoma, which is increased pressure, in intraocular pressure, increased pressure in the eye, and glaucoma, I think, is what, number two cause of blindness among mature people in the U.S. Right. Um, the consumption of cannabis actually reduces the pressure in the eye and so helps to mitigate the glaucoma. All right, so you, so far you're giving me all benefits. Mm -hmm. you know, so far opens my appetite, gets me more energy. It's a pain reliever, it, it's too. A, it, right, it takes away pain, it takes away right. nauseousness, especially if, you, yeah. if you're getting chemo, it helps you with glaucoma, lots of good stuff. How come it's not legal? The reasons that cannabis isn't legal are so vast and deep at this point, it's crazy. I mean, we know from the 1997, by the way, completely suppressed World Health Organization study comparing cannabis, tobacco, and alcohol, maybe an unfair comparison, that cannabis by all parameters is safer. Right. Uh, I think that there are many people who are understandably very uneasy about having another psychoactive agent readily available out there, but it's readily available now. But the problem I think that you see, uh, you know, I mean, look, I'm, I'm a parent, I have teenage children, uh, you know, pot use in schools today is still pretty frequent, probably more frequent than it was when I was growing up. And younger, too. And younger, too. So the problem is, is, isn't there something to be said about uh, teenagers uh, utilizing pot, you know? Uh, because I remember in college, they used to say, oh, you smoke pot, you, you're killing brain cells by the millions, mm -hmm. right? And I don't know if that's true or not, right, but that was, right. the, I, you know, that was the cliche that was utilized. Right. So it, could it be dangerous to teenagers? You know, I think that with teenagers, because your brain isn't actually fully developed until you're about 20 or so. Oh, is that true? I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that um, for sure, you, you don't want teenagers being stoned all the time. That, that, that's real. Right. Um, you know, that's a time to be maturing the brain and the mind. So I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan. While I am absolutely an advocate of the legalization, the decriminalization of cannabis, right. uh, taking it completely out of the illegal economy, um, I would really hate to see that result in more teenagers than now, for example, using it more. I don't actually think it would, but... Uh, I don't think that there are benefits well, to that. Well, look, I think we have to regulate it. But nonetheless, we, we, we touch a little bit on the commercial aspect, not the smoking aspect of, right. of uh, marijuana. Um, for instance, there's a drug uh, I know in Britain uh, that is being utilized. Um, 
It's called Sativax. Sativa. And it is a liquid uh, form of whole cannabis uh, developed by a pharmaceutical company called GW Pharmaceuticals in Great Britain, now approved in the UK, Italy, and Spain. And that means that it will wind up being approved across the entire EU. Uh, primarily for the treatment of pain associated with multiple sclerosis, pain associated with cancer, and I think that we will also see its approval for the relief of osteoarthritis, for which it, it shows very good results in studies. Right. Well, a big controversy about marijuana. I don't know what's going to happen. I think that this is going to be an ongoing debate for years to come. I think uh, so. I don't know. I'm not sure yet about legalizing it. But, uh, you but, know. but there is one hinky little detail I want to pass it on. It doesn't grow hair, so I really don't care. You know that the, that the U.S. Uh, Department of Health and Human Services has a patent on the use of marijuana for the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. And that has been largely suppressed in the news. So they, uh, they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to figure out how to make Our money. Our own government they're has trying gone to figure to out how many. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you, Manny. Do not, I repeat, do not forget to read the Medicines Hunter's blog on foxnewshealth.com. And, you know, he writes on all of this stuff every week. Very interesting. Thank you so much. Thank and you. if you have any kind of questions, email it here at fox at drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.